This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News. The Associated Press reports authorities say a Southeast Texas deputy was shot twice with his own gun after a 16-year-old boy in custody allegedly disarmed the officer and opened fire. The Orange County Sheriff's Office says Deputy Fred Ashworth was hospitalized in stable condition and undergoing surgery. Jefferson County Sheriff Mitch Woods indicated to a local TV station that the deputy was wounded in the shoulder area and should survive. The teen had been transported from the Minnie Rogers Juvenile Detention Center near Beaumont for a court hearing in Orange. Woods says the deputy was returning the youth to the juvenile facility when the struggle happened. From WFAA.com, Dallas police say an estranged husband walked into a home early Thursday morning and fatally stabbed his wife and her parents. The suspect, William Palmer, was caught eating at a Taco Bueno in Sachas, where the suspect resides. Corporal Melinda Gutierrez said the bodies were found in the home of the wife's parents Thursday morning after a witness called 911 at about 6 a.m. Gutierrez says a woman and a child who were at the home during the stabbings are being interviewed by police. The house where the murders took place is directly across from Brian Adams High School. The Associated Press reports transportation officials have signed off on a faster speed limit of 75 miles per hour for 1,500 miles of Texas highways. The Texas Transportation Commission approved the change Thursday for segments of nine interstates where the current limit is 70 miles per hour. Drivers must wait until the new limit is posted. The longest stretch is 310 miles of Interstate 20 from near Fort Worth to a remote area of West Texas where 80 mile per hour zones have existed for several years. Other long stretches include 139 miles of Interstate 30 in East Texas, 145 miles of Interstate 10 between San Antonio and Houston, and 143 miles of Interstate 45 between Dallas and Houston. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News.